Right, uh, I'm John and I'm with the Sunflower Group and uh, today I've got ACE activities with me, part of Sally's group, um, special needs and we're talking to Ben today Hi. Uh, from Chigwell School and we're, our subject is climate which is a project we're doing and there will be an exhibition in September at Grange Farm, we're based at Grange Farm and we thought we'd like to come along and meet the students today and see what your views on climate are. So, Zoe here has a couple of questions. I do. You do. And go ahead, Zoe. Um, we'll just start anyway. This top one. Well, this one. Number two. Um, what are your... What? what are your concerns about climate change? I think the main concern which most people have is what it could do, not now, but in the future. So in future decades and future generations, what the world would be like for them. So I think really we need to act now to then preserve the worlds for them, to make sure they can have good lives and happy lives. Okay. Do you do any work at school on climate? Has there only been any topics uh, or subjects? Yes, subjects. Well, yes, and we learn a lot about it in biology. Yeah. Uh, and geography here as well. Um, there's whole topics on them as part of the. Uh, particularly on climate. Yes, yeah, so that's what we mentioned. It's not an able, but also in GCC and further down school, they learn a lot about us. Right. And there are art projects as well for the younger yeah. children. So uh, I went to art college. I wondered, what were the art subjects you Did you do the art? Uh, I, I don't, but I know from other sort of uh, younger children, especially. Yeah. They have lots of art projects. Yeah. Do you know projects. what they were doing? I think one of them were making. Uh, Collage out of recycled materials to sort of oh, show yeah. what you can do when you recycle things. Yeah, that's something Ray is doing uh, with the special needs groups. Oh, yeah. But we're doing some art, we're using recycling materials as well. It's really interesting yeah. to see how it all works. Yeah, because there's a lot of recycling to be done, isn't there? Definitely, yeah. You know, I mean, it's, there's tons and tons of plastics uh, in, filling the oceans and in the countryside, everywhere you go, you know, you find it. People throw away rubbish and stuff, and you know we have to learn to look after the planet, don't we? Definitely, yes. it's very important, yes. especially for your generation. Yes, that was just yeah. In our generation, in my generation, it wasn't so obvious because uh, you know it was coal and steel, and you know people were using fuels left, right, and centre, burning coal fires. But it's become much more obvious now that the pollution it's caused. Yes, yeah, scientific. Yeah. The research they can now do to monitor the levels it helps, especially recently, show the impacts and also how we can stop. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, have you got any other questions there, Zoe? Uh, yes. Um, how, here's this one. How can you. That's right. How can you. All the other students. All the other students make a difference. So, shall I repeat that? Yeah. How can you or the students make a difference? Well, one of the things that we're looking at at the school are what, uh, the sustainable ways, for example, of getting to school every day. And that's something that most people, most people could take part in. So whether it's walking to school if you live close by, or, or maybe just share carpooling, so, or taking the bus, because there are buses that go into school, so that would... Or back reduce. taxi. Yeah, the tank, taxi would do it. Yeah, I mean, as well. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're mainly looking at things like carpooling or buses, just because it means that all the people can use it. But yeah, the tank would be pretty well that as well. So okay. that's sort of our idea to reduce the emissions from transports um, and uh, a few other things. So, ways in which the school disposes waste, for example, we're trying to look at how to change that. So, mm -hmm. send less of it to landfill and more of it either be incinerated to generate energy or to be recycled. So, that's something do, that's do you there. feel positive about the future? Do you think this, we're going to be able to solve all these problems, you know, with the temperatures rising? Yes. What's your, what's your feeling as a, a, you know, as a young person? I, mean, I feel you have to be optimistic about it. And as such, I think that it is possible, we know it's possible. And therefore we have to be hopeful and assume it will happen and just work to make sure it does happen. <coughs> and then coming out of the climate emergency, humanity will be better and be able to solve all the problems much better as well. Mm -hmm. 
technology and the cooperation. Yeah. Those will help us in the future. Yeah, that's pretty good. Any, any yeah. other questions from anybody? What about the littering? Surely. No. Oh, what are you oh, doing? Oh, what are you doing in your class? Oh, we're going in the what? climate. Yeah, it's, uh, that's what you mean, isn't it? I asked him what he's doing in, in, in yeah. class. Yeah. Oh, in his class. Yeah. No, class. Classroom. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, I think... Uh, and, and do you mean in the way of climate or just generally? Hey? Do you mean about climate, which is what we're... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, in my class especially, so with biology and chemistry, we're learning a lot about... Do you read? So do you read? Yes. Yeah. Read. Read. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we're learning a lot. So, for example, in chemistry, we're learning about polymers and ways in which we can uh, yeah. reduce oh. uh, carbon dioxide and so, so sustainable materials, recycling, and and yeah, reducing the emissions. For example, in cars, catalytic converters. Which learning about that sort of thing, as well as the impacts on the ozone layer, the free radicals. And, Yes, yeah, so and I've been learning a lot about it. You were sixth form, were you? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, have you? What, what are your next intentions when you leave school? Uh, I'm looking at the moment to go into uh, engineering, yeah. uh, either engineering or chemistry degree. Yeah. And uh, I believe they could both be used to <laughs> help reduce the impact on climate change. Right. That we have. Yeah, that's a good yeah. Ricky? Um, what, what age are we first starting at here? I was in seven. Seven? Seven. So, wow. Yeah, it's a long time. Long time. What? You're 16 now? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Who's, who's your teacher? Uh, well, quite a few. Um, who's your teacher? Yeah, different teachers for different no, subjects, surely. got different teachers, surely. Oh. Yeah, each subject. So each it could subject. be one after the other teachers. Yeah, one for maths. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Yeah, but he ain't going to name them all to you, in. I've got his name. <laughs> ben. Yeah. Ben? Ben. Yeah. Is it Ben? Yeah, Ben. It is Ben, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Well, next time. And, and Zoe, you had another question. Uh, what's I say? Littering. Um, littering, yeah. The, uh, what did you want to say about? Trying to change about the littering, trying to put... You basically put it in the bin, aren't you? Not put front on the floor. Yes. You yeah. can't change things to put the rubbish in the bin. Yeah. Yeah. And schools for rounds. You can see a few of them. They put a lot of new bins in. Because that was a big problem they used to have. They yeah. have bins, but now they've got quite a few. I still think this idea about not sending as much to landfill and incinerating some, recycling some. Yeah. Yeah. That is something that we're hoping to do with some of the waste. So what? You know what? They're talking about. I'm telling it like trying to. Change the, the people to put it in the bin, not yeah. on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because that's a big problem. You still find a lot of people will throw their rubbish in the forest and stuff. We got yes. forest quite a lot. Oh, yes. Uh, and, and um, you know, you'll find people, well, they dump in sofas there as well sometimes, you oh, know, wow. they're just okay. tipping, yeah, yeah. people Same. clearing a house and then just come along to the forest and empty the stuff into the woods, which is terrible, yeah, really. That's horrible. And it costs millions to look after that. You know, each year they spend, I think it was a quarter of a million pound a year to keep the forest clean. I might be wrong, but I think I'm pretty sure I remember that figure. It's and you, you've got, there's lots of volunteer litter pickers and people because, you know, lots of people go to. to the forest. Yeah, I mean, you, I go there lots and you have to in, you yeah. do it. Do you get out the forest yourself? Yeah, it's not nice. like quite a lot. Yeah. And, um, and of yeah. course you've got the road in Valley, you know. You know oh, yes, yeah, so you say you can get across, yeah. you know, go through both of them. Yeah. I rediscovered it quite a few years ago now, but I really enjoyed them both. Yeah, it's very important for young people as well to, to, to be out in the environment, yeah. you know, so that they, they're they not always on phones and, you know, laptops and things like that when, you know, you've got nature. And when you're familiar with nature, you respect it as well. Yes, that's definitely true. I think a lot of people here who are either concerned or hopeful about the climate's urgency, they're doing so because they enjoy nature seen it a lot around here and that's helping people to realise how important it is. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Ben, I think you know we've, we've asked you a good number of questions and uh, you've been very helpful, so I'm really pleased and I think on behalf of the group we'd like to thank you. So we can thank give you, Ben yeah. a little clap, yeah? Should we give him a little clap? Oh, do you want a handshake? Uh,
Yeah. So, so it's for the camera. Okay. Yeah. Wait, thank you, Ben. I'm trying to figure that question. Did they do a thing called litter pick as well? Because I heard uh, that's a thing at school. Like they, they do, they do litter pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. litter pick. We did you ever do that? I think we did. What? We did a couple of years ago. Oh, I think it was. Yeah, hang on for us. That actually went and did some. Oh. We must have done some litter for us. Not sure. Um, and no, that's how yep. we enjoyed that. Yeah, they do organise those sort of things every now and then. Uh, Mika, the person we're working with, um, part of Essex um, Health, is, uh, you know, she, she gives up those grabbers for picking oh, up yes, rubbish yeah. and bags, and, and she organises things like that. So, yeah. yeah. I should also say, we should thank, we're, we're funded by Let's Get Connected, we're a charity, oh, yes. and we've, we've got funding from Harlow, uh, from an organisation called Let's Get Connected. And they've given us the funding to be able to do this project. So um, when you come along, hopefully you'll come to the exhibition in Grange yes, Farm in September. Like to, yeah. You're more than welcome. And of course, we'll have this video. So we'll get you to see this. I'll give it to Chris, your teacher, so you can you can see it at some point. Yes, thank you. All right. Be, yes, I'd love to come and see us yeah. in September. Yeah, and thanks again for your time. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you.